There are two, two big, big lies in wholesaling, folks. There's two big lies out there in the wholesaling business, right? You get one group of people that tell you, you can't make money getting started in real estate wholesaling, okay? You get people that say it's impossible to start real estate by being a wholesaler. That's a lie. You definitely can. But, 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 but. The flip side is you also get those people that are going to tell you you could wholesale with no money and anybody can be a wholesaler with no money. That is a lie and probably an even more dangerous lie than the first one. Today, we're going to wholesale a deal together. Can you do this deal as a brand new investor? Yes. Do you need a lot of money? No. But do you need some money? Yeah, you need a little bit of money. But guess what? You're only going to need about $7,000. So if you have the desire to get started in real estate wholesaling and you could rub together seven grand and you could work hard, we could do a wholesale deal together. I'm going to walk you through one right now because I'm doing one with my clients. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise and I am here to help people like you invest in real estate. Now, today I'm working with my man, Elliot. Elliot is from Portland, Oregon, and Elliot wants to get started in wholesaling, right? And I said there's two problems, two lies, rather, not problems, two lies about wholesaling. One, you can't get started in real estate being a wholesaler. Bullshit! Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But two, the more dangerous lies that you don't need any money. Bullshit! You do need some money, right? Because a lot of those courses and this or that, they teach you about wholesaling, and say you could do it with no money. They really want you to uh, illegally broker real estate. And that comes with its own set of problems, number one. Number two, there's going to be a decent amount of uh, outlay in regards to meeting sellers and getting your offers and, and paying the money for that, right? So you're going to need some money. It's starting a business. You can't start any business without some money. However, right, depending on where you are, the level of money you need can be much smaller uh, than in other places. So with you, Elliot, we're having you do wholesaling with me in Northeast Ohio. Why? Because the properties are so much cheaper in Northeast Ohio than they are in Portland. We're going to knock down a deal where you only need seven grand. Could you wholesale in Portland with seven grand? No. No, you couldn't. But you're going to partner with me. We're going to do it in Ohio, and we're going to jump into the numbers on that deal right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. We are going to pull up the property, go over the numbers, right? Getting rid of the two lies, the two lies in the wholesaling industry. You can't get started in wholesaling. Lie. Yes, you can. Two, you don't need any money to wholesale. Lie. Yes, you do. But depending on where you wholesale depends on how much or how little you actually need, right? Seven grand is the only amount of money I think we're going to need to do this deal. Now, that is almost no money depending on where you live, right? You take people from Oregon, people from Denver, you know, like Portland, Oregon, Denver, Colorado, anywhere in California, right? You couldn't wholesale with seven grand, okay? You couldn't do it, right? But if you go to someplace like Ohio, someplace like Cleveland, you absolutely can because we have properties in areas that are super, super cheap, right? And that's where this one comes along, right? 3358 East 145th, Cleveland, 44120. It has been on the market for 218 days. That is awesome. That is what we want, okay? That means it's been on the market over six months, okay? It's closer to eight months, right? And it's dirt cheap. 
This is probably like a D grade neighborhood, okay? Here's the deal. This neighborhood, like, we actually do manage in this area, so it's a blighted area, but it's not, like, the worst of the worst, right? Like, uh, if you go over this way, neighborhood actually gets pretty good, right? So I would say this turns into, like, a C area, but also, conversely, if you go this way, it's like an F area, and that's very important because you're going to want to, when you're wholesaling deals, you have to understand the value, right? You get all these email blasts and, and, and wholesalers on Craigslist, and they're like, oh, yo, property, 10K, 10K in reno, ARV, 50K. But nobody pays attention to them because, first of all, their ARV is wrong. Uh, their monthly S or their their renovation budget uh, all wrong, all fucked up, right? That's why you work with me, right? Because I could put all that together for you. I actually know the true ARV of this property. I could put together the scope of work. I could package this to the actual buyer, right? You get people that try to wholesale on their own, try to put all the pieces together, and they're just wasting their time, right? So that's why people are wholesaling with me, right? So you take this deal, three three five eighty, one hundred forty fifth, okay? Fringy neighborhood, but Holton Wise, we are very familiar with this area. We've got the largest real estate portfolio of its kind in the Cleveland market, right? So I have people that will buy this. I understand what it's going to take to actually turn this into like a bird deal, okay? Or to get it to an investor who's going to either burr it through me or burr it on their own, right? This duplex is just jacked, okay? It's totally jacked up, right? Like you see the porch is like falling in, all right? The thing is just a mess, right? That garage needs to come down, new driveway. The whole thing is jacked, right? But in this neighborhood, we're, like I said, fringy, but we should still be able to get an ARV of like eighty dollars to $100,000, depending on how nice we make this property, okay? So I know the true ARV. And you don't even really have to worry about that because I'll be the one selling it after the fact, right? You need to buy it on a wholesale price and flip it to that Burr investor. But here's the thing. If you don't understand how to put together the scope of work, this or that, how are you really going to do it? Make it appealing to them. That's where Holton Wise comes in. We will do all of that. Put it on Holton Wise TV, right? You're going to buy it, and then we're going to put it in a nice package on the Investment Properties for Sale show as a bird deal, and then we'll sell it, and then that person will probably pay us to fix it, and then we'll manage it for them. We got all the pieces to the pie put together. What matters for you is being able to pick it up cheap enough uh, to make your profit on the wholesale and then allowing us to sell it to that Burr investor later and have the meat be on the bone for them, right? So to do all that, you got to know how much the rental is going to cost. You got to know the ARV. You got to have the ability to get all that stuff done. I take care of all that, right? So with that said, ARV is going to be between 80 and 100K as far as actually uh, <clears throat> putting this thing together, right? It's going to require a decent chunk of money, right? Probably about $50,000, right? About 50 grand, okay? So... With this thing needing about $50,000, we're going to try to sell it for just under 20, right? So here's what we need to do. You need to pick it up at 65, okay? You're going to pay 65, then you're going to have your closing costs at 75. Then we're going to sell it at 18 and a half. Once we sell it at 18 and a half, that's going to be a cool $5,000 of profit in your pocket, you're done. Then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to burr this sucker out, so then this buyer will be all in for about 70-ish, right? And then we'll burr it out, and then they make their money, you made your money, okay? But here's the thing. The whole thing's got to work by you being able to pick it up at 65. So how can you do that? And that's, that's the big, that's one myth, too, in regards to wholesaling, right? Like, a lot of people think, oh, the deal makes sense at 65, sweet, I'll do it. And then a seller says, nah, I ain't going to take 65, and then you're scared. Oh, what do I do now? Folks, that's part of the game. You got to throw numbers out, right? You know how you get 10 wholesale deals? You make 50 offers. You know how you get 11 wholesale deals? You make 60 offers. You get what I'm saying? It's a numbers game. And you got to look for sellers that are distressed. This seller is incredibly distressed, right? House, totally dilapidated, making no money, falling apart. It's not like he's got rental income coming in. That's great. Number one. Number two, he thought it was worth more, but the market has now told him for eight months, hey, bro, you're not going to get that price. It's not worth that, right? So we got distressed, dilapidated property. Good. Long time on the market. Seller's starting to get antsy. Good. Seller has proven to us he's open to negotiation. How do I know this? Because this property originally was listed at 40 grand. okay? He's come down to almost 50% of his original price, right? All these things tell us this guy's really chomping at the bit Jones and trying to get a deal, right? So 
if we get him to accept 65, clean cash offer. That's another thing, right? We're going to make a clean cash offer. Not like all those fake gurus that teach you guys, put it under contract, and then try to find an end buyer later. You do some BS, like, contingencies in case you can't close it. No, we ain't doing fuck all that shit. That's not real wholesaling. That shit don't work. It's actually fucking illegal, number one. Number two, we're trying to get this dude to take a lowball offer. He ain't going to accept some bullshit lowball offer. Any real estate agent worth their salt in the business is going to be like, yo, this ain't a real offer. This is a wholesaler, right? But that's not even true wholesaling. That's just what people call uh, call it, right? That's what people refer to it as wholesaling. That's not real wholesaling. That's illegally brokering real estate. We're doing true wholesaling. We're going to buy this motherfucker. We're going to buy this motherfucker at 65. So what are we going to do? We're going to write a $6,500 offer. It's going to close in 10 days. No fucking contingencies. No walkthrough. No this. No that. Hey, motherfucker, 6500 No questions asked. We do that. I guarantee you I'm selling this for 18 and a half, right? That is how we have a higher chance of getting the deal to close, right? We get the high chance of having the deal close by putting in a completely as is no questions offer. There's no content. No like oh yeah let me talk to my partner no fuck that no oh let me do an inspection no fuck that it's 65 you get it in 10 days you no longer have to deal with this property you doing the deal or not let's go right create that urgency make the deal easy for them right so you make the deal easy check distressed property check on the market a long time sellers getting antsy check seller interested in negotiating Motherfucker's down about 50% of what he originally wanted. Check. This, all those things tell me, all those things are clues that this is the potential for a good wholesale deal. So that's what we want to do. And guess what? If the seller tells us no, what are we going to do? We're going to move on to the next one because it's a numbers game, folks. We got to keep it moving. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.